My name is Bobby Maximus. I'm 43 years old. I was on the Ultimate Fighter season two. But I'm going to be the oldest competitor ever on the Ultimate Fighter. You want to pick the guys you want. You want the first pick. This is the 30th season of the Ultimate Fighter. It is the biggest and baddest season that they have had. And for me, being a coach on the Ultimate Fighter is a dream come true. So I want to share with you guys my picks here. Well, and Kamaru. Yeah. Kamaru's brother. He came with the bloodline. He would be like the very good pick too. Up, yeah, I'm just just checking in with you. This is my last phone call before I, I gotta be gone. The welterweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Kamara Usman. You have an upper hand because you've been on wrestling teams before. We're bringing in two coaches who are current champions in the UFC's women's division. You got Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes. And these two have a lot of history and they do not like each other. Juliana's got it down and she's got choke her. Choking out Nunez to win that Bantamweight title. That is it! Juliana Pena shocks the world! That's the biggest upset in the history of First off, guys, congratulations on being selected to the 30th season of The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, things worked out pretty good for me. So hopefully some of you will have that same experience. This is like boot camp for fighters. I'll take uh, Mo Usman. Micho. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighter, guys. This is us. This is the big boy black room. This is us. It's perfect. Me and Muhammad were supposed to fight uh, about three years ago. He pulled out, and then like three weeks after he pulled out, he fought some bum. So he knows that he's not ready for this because he's always trying to fight bums. You know, like I, I don't get it. Like I'm down to fight anybody. Wisman. Micho. Let's do it, baby. Uh, he backed out to fight me for a title about two, three years ago. Do that again like I did two years ago when he backed out. Remember that? No. Remember that fake surgery? No. Oh, you don't? Strap in. Yeah. Strap in. We're going I'm see. strapped in, baby. I think he's just trying to ride the wave with his brother. And this sport, you got to have some dog in you, and he doesn't have that in him. All that muscle going to be on the floor, baby. See. Straight to the gulag. We're going to see. Straight to the gulag. We talk a lot. God has put me in the God in, in in there to to go to war, and and I and that's why I'm just trusting Him yeah. and just doing what I'm supposed to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Just trust Him and just go. <laughs> My brother is Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian Nightmare. He was on season 21 of The Ultimate Fighter. Looks like a tap that's it. Kamaru Usman comes up huge for the Brazilians. You did win the show. He's giving me a whirlwind of advice and. Uh, one of the one of the first thing is just be you, and to compete and uh, take it one fight at a time. Usman is by far the bigger guy. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! It's over Whoa. already! Oh my goodness! Mitchell is gonna just come out and throw caution to the wind and have no game plan. He's not gonna grapple because he's not good at it. He's not gonna wrestle because he's not good at it. He's gonna come out there and just throw bombs. And I'm prepared for it because I'm a complete fighter. I'm going to use my abilities. I'm going to trust my abilities, trust myself, trust my coaches. Get in there and get ready to go to hell and come back. How long did it take you to grow that hairline? 32 years? I'm not going to address a bum. You're a bum. But we're going to address each other in the cage. You're okay. a bum. That's why you've been talking this whole time. I'm not trying to get under his skin. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just, you know, saying how it is. Hey, you're a bitch, homeboy. You ain't <laughs> okay, no gangster, oh, homie. You bad now, You ain't bum. no gangster, homie. Okay, bum. You're, you're a fake a gangster bitch, homeboy. <laughs> Mitchell Seip from Team Nunez. 265. 
Mohamed Usman from Team Pena. 238. You ain't scary, homeboy. You're a bitch, dog. We're going to see. We'll find out tomorrow. Tomorrow, All right, guys. tomorrow. Turn it, turn it. Here we go. I don't care what he says. He's not scary. The fight's a fight, you know. I can outfight him any day. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. What you trying to do? Yeah, save it. <laughs> tomorrow. I'm willing to uh, fight for my life. Feel the fire, feel the burn, this is going down. We're the point of no return, this is going down. You are in the thick of it, my friend. You are in a fist fight. You felt the hardest punch that he has. You felt it. You took it. You ate it, and you kept coming forward. Judges have it as a unanimous decision winner. Moving on, Muhammad Usman. Yeah! Yeah! There we go. Yeah! 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 Then Mitchell catches Mo with an overhand right and drops him. Yeah! 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 Come on! Yeah! Come on! All right, gentlemen, second round, fights on. Focus. He got the first round. He starts to play in the second round. He starts to like, really like, no be focused anymore, no listen. Third round, fights on. After two rounds, the judges decided it should go to a third, and I agree, that was the right call. Hands up, Mito. Hands up. The more started like picking him apart with the jab, started like get his face all messed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Ye
We just all talk. It's a barking dog. It's all good. It's a barking dog, man. You did awesome. I'm so proud of you. Muhammad just dominated. He, he did a great job, and, uh, and I'm so proud of him. Now, it's time for Team Pena to pick the next heavyweight matchup. We're going to go Bobby Maximus versus Eduardo Perez. So Bobby versus Eduardo, man, it's going to be fun. I was the number one pick, and Bobby was like towards the end. If I take Eduardo to the ground, I will be all over him, smother him like a wet blanket, and he will not get up. Eduardo's licking his lips, thinking he's just gonna come, just he's just gonna just come, just run the floor with you. I ain't nobody's free lunch. I uh, know you're not. You show him why they call you Maximus. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. What's the line on this? Plus 1,100. <laughs> Some money down. Uh, oh, you know what I was thinking about last night again? How Bobby hasn't fought since 2009. Dude, what the? I told you that. What? I thought he hadn't been in the Ultimate Fighter since 2009, and he was like, he fought a few fights. No, he was in the Ultimate Fighter 2006. <laughs> I was on the Ultimate Fighter season two, Rob. I was on Team Hughes, and I actually lost my first fight. <laughs> Doctors thought it might be a career ending injury. Yeah. It wasn't. But out of that appearance on the show, I managed to get a contract. One a fight and one submission of the night. Nice arm bar, beautiful. Lost a couple of fights, got my contract cut. That is a very bad spot. I think he's out already. It's all over. It's he's all out. over. Wow, very, very, very nice. Me being 43 years old, I actually think it's an advantage because I'm not the young, naive, stupid kid that I was in my 20s. Bobby and Brogan and Claire, they're constantly chatting. Bobby saying, so if you wanna win this, here's what you do. These are the affirmations you need. And to me, I felt betrayed. I just wanted you to know that I understand like Brogan and Claire are your bestie, but I just wanna know if like, our team is safe with you because all night we hear, you know, how you win this competition is uh, affirmations and the green dot. And every time you see the green dot, you tell yourself how you're gonna win. Juju likes to complain. And it's not like there's anything Bobby can tell the other team that's gonna give them some secret to beating someone on our team. My instant emotional reaction to Juju complaining about me being friends with Brogan and Claire, grow the f up. All right, guys, first we have Eduardo Perez from Team Nunez. 266. Up next, we have Bobby Maximus from Team Pena. Bobby, come on up. Yeah. 237. And a baby. Everyone loves a good redemption story. So to have Bobby Maximus, also known as Rob McDonald, from season two try to make his comeback on The Ultimate Fighter is really something special. Let's get it. Yes, sir.
Ooh, that was a nasty one. You gotta defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Damn, I'm turning around. Referee stoppage due to strikes. The winner. They got put out in the open. Bobby was getting hit with some big, heavy shots, and it was um, over from there. Eduardo got Bobby in a bad position, in the ground pound, and I know Bobby not gonna get up from that. We got the victory. Chandler. Best is Jordan. I'm fighting Chandler Cole and super excited about it. I, I think it's a great matchup. He's a strong wrestler and so am I. I think it's gonna be a great scrap and I'm just gonna pick him apart with my strikes. Worked it real good. Who's ready to get this fitness on? Fitness Chandler is uh, probably the best athlete in the house. And one, two, that's all I need. I like your outfit. Fitting all this, fitting all are those your fight shorts? No, nah, bro. These are just, you know, some Ultimate Fighter specials. Oh. I've been working out all day. We're like, oh, I can tell. Good? I can tell you've been, you've been straining. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but there's a reason books have covers. <laughs> is this good? Sec, is this good? Bro, I'm eating right now. First up, Chandler Cole from Team Nunez. 264 and a half. And from Team Pena, we have Jordan Heiderman. 247. Jordan has the height and reach advantage, so what he probably needs to do is keep the fight standing and use that range. It's controlled violence, and, and that's where I get to release those demons. So this is very therapeutic for me. I believe I belong on this stage just because of the work I put in. One more round. 
more, more round. All right. Winner by TKO, Jordan Heiderman. Chandler hits Jordan with the nicest spinning wheel kick I've ever seen in my entire life. That kick came out of nowhere. Holy Forrest and I jumped out of our seats. We thought the fight was over for sure. Round two starts. Chandler comes out again with a spinning wheel kick to the body. That's nothing. But Jordan throws a one-two right down the clown's mouth. I like that. One more round. One more round. But unfortunately, things didn't win our way. Chandler looks really tired. He goes in for a shot. Jordan stuffs it and then finishes the fight from there with big, huge ground and pound. Go, 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 go. Oh. You're going too fast, girl. <laughs> Gotta keep up. Hello, hello, boys. What's up, gang? How hey. are you? Now I'm gonna sit down with both coaches and let them make their case on who they'd like to see square off in the semifinals. Why don't you prove who the best is from her team versus my team and go number one seed versus So no one bias. Seed. Yeah. Who's the best guy left? Who, who wins the show? Yeah, it's man. a toss up between Muhammad and Zach. Thanks girls. Yep. See you in the Do the right thing, Dana. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Jordan versus Zach. I thought that Zach and Jordan would be the most fair fight for them to fight each other. So everything that I asked for, I got. Jordan is a freestyle fighter who showed how tough he is in the comfort behind win over Chandler. These two have been training together every day since they've been here. They're very familiar with each other. That should make for a really interesting fight to kick off the semifinals. Eduardo. Versus Muhammad. Second heavyweight semifinal is a matchup between the first two guys taken during the team picks. Both of these guys have the ability to finish the fight at any moment, so this matchup should have everyone on the edge of their seats. So this week we got the coaches challenge. Amanda and I are both very competitive and it's gonna be interesting to see us competing against each other and not in a fist fight. All right guys, welcome to the Coach's Challenge. This is my favorite part of the season. You, the athletes, have no pressure today. You get to kick back, relax, and have fun and all the pressure is on your coaches. The game will consist of five rounds each coach will get three throws per round, and the ax is gonna have to stick in the target for the points to be awarded. Whoever has the most points after five rounds wins. The winning coach gets $10,000, and her team gets $1,500 each. When I saw Juliana pick it up that thing, she didn't even know how to hold it. That thing, she's like, oh, I'm gonna smash you. Oh, no, zip it. That's a lot. Yes! <laughs> uh, Juliana didn't really look like an axe thrower. Uh, she was bouncing it off the floor, bouncing it off the fed. Yeah! Hey! Hey, nice. That's two. Woo! It's come down to Juliana's last three throws. The only way for her to win is to get three straight bullseyes. But she missed her first throw, and that was the end of it. Money in the bank!
first of the scale, Jordan Heiderman, 247. Woo! Zach Paunga, 244. I think it's a good matchup. They're both tough guys. Jordan fought Chandler. Chandler had plenty of skill. And you know, see who's left standing at the end of the day. I dream big when it comes to my career and my goals. Um, I mean, I want to go to the top. I want to be a UFC champion. Grab high too low. Watch for his draw. He's looking for that draw right here. There you go, Zach. Up and down, working straight. Let's work out too low. Watch his draw. Look for a level change, Jordan. Don't swing with him. Look for a level change, Jordan. Don't swing with him. I need more punches off that jab when you land it. Watch his lead hook. Hands up. Beautiful, Bubba. Yes. Keep that right hand tight. Keep that right hand tight if you're hooking, yeah? There you go. Thank you. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm the hook that. Next time. Less than a minute. Let's try to seal a takedown. Get set it up. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get I love the patience. Hold your range, keep your motion, and the rest is up. is easy. Nice job. How you feel? Great. Watch out that left hook. Stop, 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 stop. Right, baby. Go work, guys. Go work, guys. Finals, baby, finals. Our referee stoppage winner by TKO. Moving on, Zach. <laughs> Round one, Zach and Jordan come out circling each other, looking to trade. Zach lands a couple of good shots. Beautiful body. <laughs> Almost immediately after round two begins, Zach lands a hard left. Oh. And down goes Jordan. Stop, 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 stop. Zach pounces, and you can see Jordan is just too rattled to defend himself. So the ref stops the fight. Congrats, dude. Finale, dude. Finale. I'm going to the finale. Feels amazing. This is what I came here for. This is what I quit my job for. This is what I left my family for. And I wasn't going to settle for anything less. They said Bryce Mitchell's grappling is just on a different level. Everyone just underestimates it. Yeah, he just doesn't look the part. Come on, Doug Nasty, I got $100 on you. Why did everybody else get in there? <laughs> Come on, man, you guys are crazy, bro. Welcome to South Florida. This season is different than any other season we've ever done. Two of the best teams in the business, the American Top Team and the Black Zillions. We won the show. I became the ultimate fighter. Congratulations, you guys. And ended up becoming uh, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What's up, man? What up, gangster? What up? What up? I feel like that's what I'm so mentally strong. That's good. You got one out the way, huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. How'd that feel? Felt good. I feel I feel to be didn't, first. Didn't feel the best though. I feel to be first. <sighs> Nerve wracking, huh? I, I didn't feel the. I didn't feel good. He's got one more fight left. One more fight, and you're in the finale. So it's almost there, but you can't celebrate too quick. You have to keep yourself in that menta in that mindset. You have to stay composed. You gotta stay mentally sound because it's not over. Anybody, anybody can get it. Yep. I know Mohammed better than anyone. I'm the closest one in age to him. I, I spent the most time with him. I lived in the room. We have shared a room growing up for the most part. That's how I feel. Thank you, bro. I'm proud of you. Do your thing, man. Now you know what we went through. I know, I see you. Wait till you make it out. Now you know what we went through. I see what y'all went through. I'm so blessed to be a Usman. <laughs> I'm Muhammad Usman, if y'all ain't know.
forget where you're from. Don't forget that you're a strong man. Yes, sir. Be strong. You know why you are there. Yes, ma'am. You are there to win. Yes, sir. My job is not done here. I just go back to just listening to my parents, you know. Ah, ah, good. Man. I'm not going to give him no room to feel anything besides pressure. From the start of that first bell, all you're going to see is pressure, pressure, pressure. First to the scale, Eduardo Perez, 265. Yeah. Mohamed Usman. 20, 20, 20. Nice job, Mohammed. Yeah. 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 I like my Yeah. 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 You saw everything he had. So That's protect yourself too when you walk away. Don't walk away with your head deep up breath, like that. Breath. You faint a little bit and then go. There we go. You are in the fight of your life. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Handle your business, Mohammed.
How you feeling? Fight. Good fight, kid. Winner by split decision, Muhammad Uzma. Yeah! Split decision. Yeah. Cool. They keep the fight standing, they're trading. Eduardo was punishing Mo's lead leg with kicks, and Mo was throwing a lot of jabs and overhands. Second round, fight's on. Scrap continues into round two. Mo dumped Eduardo with a double, but Eduardo quickly got back up. Eduardo was started doing the strategy. Keep them chops low, low. Hey! Leg kicks. We use his jab. One, two, all day, exactly. But I feel like he hesitated. Third round, fight's on. Round three was more of the same. Mo kept trying to come in with jabs and overhand. Nice. Eduardo continued with his kicks and kept tagging Mo whenever he saw the opening. I love you, man. This is what we do. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I see you at the top. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Ooh, broken. All right, Juju. -ju. Let's go, Juju. -ju. Even though her striking isn't so refined, she's really making it work for her. She's making that style work for her. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. I'm facing Zach in the finale. I know Zach is a tough fighter. I know exactly what he's going to come with. I think his coaches think they know me, but they don't know the new me. Mohammed, I'm going to piece you up on national television in the UFC and give you a loss. This has been a great season, and what a better way to cap it off than when Amanda and Juliana face off in their rematch. You, you can tell the way they squared off that Amanda is counting the days until she can try to get that belt back, and everyone cannot wait for this fight. Now you don't want to talk. It's like a little Funny, because you talk in the internet, you blow in my face, and now you no say one word. What do I need to say? The work speaks for itself. I didn't show up last time, right? No, you didn't. So. No, you didn't. Yes. Yeah. But this time I'm gonna be 100. percent Okay. And you know, okay. I'm gonna take the belt for you. You know that. All right. The belt's mine. Okay. Once again, Las Vegas is ready for Saturday night fights. Coming up next, time to crown some ultimate fighters. First up, women's flyweight division. Brogan Walker, one of the favorites on the show. Juliana Miller is on the other side. Surprised many by not just winning, but breaking her opponents en route to tonight. The San Diego native describes herself as a wild card. You never know what she's going to do in there. Representing Guam, Brogan Walker makes her walk for her chance to win the ultimate fighter. Three inches taller is Juliana Miller, but a one inch edge in reach lies with Brogan Walker, the Vegas favorite. It's Miller at minus 130. Fighting out of San Diego, California, here is Juliana Killer Miller! Fighting out of Hagatna, Guam, here is Barogi, the Bear Walker! Big exchange for Miller, who pressures forward. Look at the strength for Brogan Walker. But look at that. It's Miller that gets the takedown. And in the apex, every cheer counts. You can hear the corner. This is your world. There you go. I mean, you've got to love these corner men, because essentially there's not a lot happening. But if you listen to the corner, you would think that she is absolutely destroying it. She had the weak half guard. Pass it. She has a weak half guard, pass it. There you go, there you go. All right, now we go, now we go. We gotta work, we gotta hit. Dean Thomas has a headset. Dean, what do you see so far? Well, if you're wondering why the coaches are in their corners are making all that noise on the side, that's something that corners do in order to influence the judges to try to get them points, because it's not really doing much. We don't always oh, it in an it's an over. Miller in a little bit of trouble here. That's very, oh, she let it go. <laughs> That was the best she has on the ground. The worst that could possible happen, happened. You survived, no problem. Back and ready for round two. This was the exchange as Brogan Walker returned to her feet. Neither giving an inch. <laughs> oh, heavy exchange there for Walker. That's a nice jump, Kate. Oh. Followed up now. Starting to unload a little bit. Now, now into the clinch. 
The UFC is back in Salt Lake City. Combat sports leader is bringing the goods. Pound for pound king Kamaru Usman looks to defend his welterweight throne once more against a man who is unbeaten in his last 10 since he fought Kamaru. Walker back to her feet. Miller spills her again. Walker explodes up, unable to get rid of Miller on the back. He's now got a hook in. Grab that hand where you see the blue tape. Pull it down. Unable to do so thus far, and oh, there goes the squeeze from Miller. Walker's trying to take the back. Another takedown for Miller. And it's three position. so far in the fight. Third round coming up. Your jujitsu and your wrestling, it's on point. All right. That's exactly what we need to do. You gotta hear me when I say this. This girl's gonna come out desperate. Yep. Cherie, she came out, so we gotta be hands up, we gotta be ready to throw down. There's a nice one too by Juliana Miller. She's taking over in this fight here. Walker's got to insert herself. She's got to get some respect. There's a nice shot, though. Almost had a takedown there. Didn't drive through. Kick out that wall, too. Hey, hey, oh, knee, knee, knee. Are you gonna knee? Knee, yeah. 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 yes, yes. Yep, 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 there it is. There it is. They're big elbows. Raining down elbows now is Miller. Full mount. Walker just seems not sure how to escape this position. Ooh. Keith Peterson's taking a close look. Miller's got her in a world that's of it. trouble, and that's it. Juliana Miller is the ultimate fighter. You want your fighters with a little bit of nasty? Say hello to Killer Miller. But Juliana Miller living up to the moniker of Killer. Look at that. She's mean, she's vicious, she's nasty. And she's now the ultimate fighter. And now the ultimate fighter flyweight winner, Juliana Killer Miller. You are the ultimate fighter. You get the trophy and the contract with the UFC. Congratulations. In the first round, Brogan was whispering in my ear. She's like, oh, you ain't got nothing for me. Let me see those elbows. Go ahead, hit it again. So uh, when I heard her whisper that in my ear, I said, okay, oh, girl, I'll show you. Well, congratulations and a great victory. And congratulations to Juliana Killamilla. She is the ultimate fighter. Now to the heavyweight final for season 30 of The Ultimate Fighter. Crazy to think Zach Paunga began his journey as an MMA fighter just three years ago. So too could Mohamed Usman. Yes, welterweight champion Kamaru Usman's younger, but let's say larger brother. My big brother, his name is Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian Nightmare. I know that with the same work, I can uh, accomplish the same goals. And uh, I'm on a mission to do just that. Since leaving the Tough House, people think this version of you on the Tough Show is what they saw, but they don't understand that that was just a glimpse of who I am. Former football player said, he learned young, if you want to get paid playing a game or being an athlete, you got to really bring it. Let's go. And here is Mohammed the Motor Usman, 33 years old. Both fighters six feet two inches tall, edge in weight by just a couple of pounds to Paunga, but it's a three inch edge in reach to the underdog, Mohammed Usman. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, here's the undefeated, Zach the Ripper, Paunga! Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, by way of OG Nigeria, here is Mohammed the Motor Oh. Doesn't mean he's gonna win. How about that agile with the Superman jab on the way in? Yeah, make him wait multiple times on the ultimate fight. Oh, it's gonna be easy. Head kick goes up top, but Usman eats it and fires back. <laughs> Faint and some footwork. Ooh. Wow, some big swings. Be careful when you're entering the danger zone. Oh. Oh. That was a big left stutter hole. step. Was met with a thud. Round number two coming up. That lead hand working a little bit more, and I want to see he's get real heavy on that front leg. I want to see you start finding that low kick. But never mind that, we got two big boys slugging it out. Oh! Oh! Follows it up! Mohamed Usman is the ultimate fighter! Panga comes in, left hook, boom, on the chin, out, down, dives on him. But let's take a listen to this in real time. 
And now the Ultimate Fighter heavyweight winner, Muhammad the Motor Usman! You are the Ultimate Fighter, you get the contract, and you already got your trophy. Yes, sir. Congrats, buddy. Thank you, God, and this is from Nash, and uh, thank you for being with me, and uh, we did it. Daddy did it, we're in the show. Well, we look forward to seeing your future. Congratulations. You are the Ultimate Fighter, Muhammad Usman, ladies and gentlemen. So here is the first time UFC title challenger, Juliana Pena. She must block out all doubt, thrive in her own self-belief. I am not afraid of Amanda Nunes, and I've made that extremely clear. It's the Venezuelan vixen herself, a pillar of strength and execution, who isn't here to give up what she's earned, so much as show the world that she's here to stay. Dallas, the combat sports leader, is deep in the heart of Texas tonight. She's beautiful. She's spicy. She's intelligent. She's a great fighter. She's so game. But if there's anyone that knows it too, it's this lady. Don't forget, she's still the featherweight champion in the world. She just wants to become the double champ again. Well, this is an incredible rivalry. Joe Rogan, you were right there for the intensity yesterday. They will lock the door behind those two women. There is the unflappable, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, Juliana Pena. Intensity personified and a big pop from the crowd as they see the Lioness here in-house. City kickboxing, well represented. A couple of UFC champions, Israel Adesanya, Alexander Volkanovsky, and the great Ashley alongside as well. Those guys getting a little bit lathered here. It wasn't anything personal. Nobody's had a tougher road in the UFC except for me, and I want to fight Amanda. It's time for her to quit ducking. That's my fight. She is one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. Oh, she got hit with a jab there. But I believe that in this sport, you're human. Oh, big combination for Pena. It really comes down to guts and who wants it. Oh! Dragged down by Pena. Look at this. Oh, Juliana's got her down. She's got Joker. She's got her back. She's got oh, time. That She's is it. Him. Juliana oh! Pena shocks the world. Juliana got locked. And you can be sure they will run it back. But Juliana Pena has done it. This is my belt. Come and get it. like us. We watch her every time we go, well, this is just what Amanda does. What Juliana has done now has motivated her and given her another threat. With an all-star cast of coaches behind her, here is Juliana Pena making the walk. Physically, we asked her about any improvements since December, and she says, I am a more fine-tuned athlete. The plus 215 underdog tonight is 32 years of age. Amanda Nunes, 34. Nunes taller by two inches. Both fighters enter the octagon with a reach of 69 inches. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch goes now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out, handle your business, let's go! But you can see already, the approach is much slower for Amanda Nunes. There it is. There's a hard one to the calf right away. But right now, Amanda started well. Already some redness underneath that left eye of Pena. Ooh! Puts your whole body out of whack when you get hit behind the ear like a... Oh, she heard her. She heard her with that. Bro, that choppy right hand is killing Juliana. Yeah. Oh, good jab there by the champion. Pretty good response oh. the round. Now Nunes returns fire. Both women land in that exchange. She stands southpaw. She can't defend your clinch. Do you understand me? Right here, you see the right hand by Amanda. Clips Juliana behind the head. Right around the ear. Again. Right hand lands right on the temple. When she lands, it, it takes effect. Oh! She got hurt bad. That's that lead that's hand. Punch. That's that lead hand. Pen 
Sonya seemingly has her wits about her. But she's still leaning on. In. Oh, Pena with a big land now. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Oh, oh she's done her again. She's done her again, man. It's so interesting to watch. Oh, oh, for Nunez now. Nunez pretty seamless, switching up the footwork. Oh, she's done her again. Pena now with a floor, he lands a knee. She's got to stay there. She can't go back to distance. Boom. Mm. There's one that drops her. And Amanda just stops oh and cracks her. Oh, my goodness. Her. That was a big shot. I mean, these are the shots that put out Cyborg, right? Oh, that one, oh, her that eyes one rolled her. back yep. in her head. That one hurt her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, Step in, goodness. spinning elbow. That was nasty. That was nasty. She's not slowing down at all. Nice shot there by the champ. Juliana yep. tagged her. Oh, another one. She got hurt. Oh. oh, nice counter right now from Nunez after Pena landed her most significant strike of the fight. And chasing her down. Look at that. Good straight right Good by, straight right by the champion. champion. Oh, look at this. Nunez takes her down. Good elbow there by Amanda Nunez. Juliana's trying to set up as a right arm bar. Oh, nice elbow there. Oh, oh another one gets ball. through. Oh, another one. That was oh, that one split her open. You could see it happen right on the hairline. Where she could drop down and get power with that. There's another one. Nasty. She cut her open with that one, too. Waning seconds of round three. Big round for the former champion. And Pena might need a finish over the final two rounds to retain her title. Go, Ten minute pace right here. Melfi. Come on, Juliana. We look at and we speak about Amanda Nunez looking so good. Juliana Pena is showing very good herself. Amanda takes it out. Beautiful Amanda, take down beautiful by Amanda. Takedown by Amanda. And I think it's when Juliana goes high guard. Like you said, Joe, she goes high guard. That's a little better. Oh, that's a little that's much better. Oh, oh, she, oh she it. She's, She's trying good. to secure a triangle. Oh yeah, she doesn't stop. And now on the park. Same thing though, too low. Amanda's out. Oh, oh, arm bar. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is tight. She got it. She lost it. Oh, she lost it. Wow, that was so close. Incredible resolve by Nunez to escape. Oh, those are big elbows. Three of them for Nunez. And Penny is put right over. Feet. Another takedown for Amanda without much resistance. Well, there's a lot of blood on Juliana's blood. face. I mean, with, stop, the, stop, with the effort stop. that these women have put out there, you Incredible. let them. Incredible. Let them just play pity pat a little bit. Now, this is where Juliana really wants to pile oh. it on. Oh, she clipped her. She did. Round four complete. Deep one. Hey, when you get her on the guard near the fence. Keep her head on the fence and her hips square. Here's a clash of heads that opened up a, one of the cuts. Well, she's yeah. got to be ahead, right? Oh, she got... But, I mean, look at the swelling on her face. Juliana Pena has landed some really big shots. She switched into a triangle. She might have it. And she switched to Noma Plata. No good. Oh, okay. almost had it. But she's making this a dog fight. Is Amanda willing to roll to finish? Nope. Nope. Oh, she went another takedown. Oh, 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 my goodness, and that was kind of sloppy. Yeah, but Pena's tired, too. A minute 15 to go, and she's still throwing up arm bars. Oh, oh that right oh. hand for Nunez. Oh, that would hurt her. Oh, she's got her back. Oh, she's going for oh. choke. Oh. oh, she's got it. Oh, wow. she's got Pena it. Pena breaks the body triangle. Oh, my goodness, Giuliana is an animal. Working. Working and in incredible shape. Amanda Nunez said that she was not right before the first fight, and she proved it tonight. This what a performance by Amanda. I mean, she had a great game plan, an unexpected game plan with that southpaw stance. She landed this, I mean, this right hand really caused the champion problems because her best punch has always been her right hand. But it's coming from a different stance now. And now, on the UFC. Now, we are here, making history again. Double champ again, baby.
Let's go! Amanda, congratulations on not just regaining your title, but reaffirming your position as the greatest woman fighter of all time. I want a beer right now, come on! Somebody get a beer to the champ, ladies and gentlemen, Amanda Nunes! <laughs>